All right, hello and uh, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Sam Paul. Today our guest is uh, Scott Oakes from 4-3 Productions. He's a photographer, award-winning photographer. And uh, we're going to catch up and find out a little bit about the business and, and how he got into it and uh, what he's got planned. So, how are you going, Scott? Oh, not bad, not bad. You know, just enjoying the coffee. It is good Enjoying the merch. Here. It is good. <laughs> Big ups to, uh, to Shane Gore for the uh, idea for the mugs. He, he made the original mug. We've upgraded since then, but he still gets the credit because he, he came up with the idea. And I'd like to give him a shout out as well for when I had my gallery on. He was just so supportive of, of myself and Sam. Word. Like he stayed the entire event. It wasn't a busy event, but it was good to have knowing that I had someone in my corner that was being on the uh, being supportive on the emotional side. So huge shout out to you, brother. I hope you enjoy your photos too. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, um, so tell me, uh, Scott, how did you um, how did you get some started in photography? Well, we originally started off with like me doing a YouTube channel with my mate Paul. Yeah. Um, and then uh, it's like a vape review channel, so I did that for a bit. And then I just had the equipment lying around. I'm like, oh, I should do something with it. I had an injury with my hand. I slashed open my wrist. Mum said to me, um, why don't you just get out and walk around and take a few photos? Like, you know, just get out get out of the house. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it all started as me. It's just like the hobby. Yeah. And you've done some study too, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So I went, the first thing I did was I was talking to my brother and he said I should do a course through WEA. Yeah. And then I... Um, and I actually did my um, Certificate 4 through Tate, really helpful. Yep. But again, Certificate 4 is only the very much the basics, yeah. like the basic camera settings and stuff like that. And then I did my diploma, passed wow. that with flying colours, and that really helped me narrow down what I wanted to do. Yep. Awesome. And then from there I uh, entered a competition, a local, a local competition with the um, uh, End Get Marion Gallery, and I came first place to overall media. Awesome, man. That's great. Um, and then professionally, I've probably started been doing it for about a year and a half. Yep. For a hobby for about two years. Nice. So overall, no, about three years. And I've noticed on your page, you, um, you do a lot of um, like car shoots and things like that, and food, food and things like that. Is that, is that kind of your core cool focus? Or uh, well, it's it's one of the like is, so I do mainly uh, food. I love doing portraiture, so they can be anywhere from your know, beach. Lingerie, your rap, your hip hop style shoots and stuff like that. I also do live performances, but I am trying to hit more business front style photography as yeah. more of a mainstream. But it's just been very slow at the moment because the whole uh, food side of stuff has just been just been absolutely swamped because of COVID. A lot of them are still trying to get a lot of them are still trying to get say business back. Yeah, sure. Um, and a lot of them, and when they had to actually shut down, are still trying to recover that loss from being shut down for that long period of time. So right. a lot of them are just really struggling at the moment. That's why that side is a bit, a bit more tense. Yeah, of course, of course. And um, so you're talking about a gallery you had uh, opening on Saturday, it was? Yep, I had, a, I, had a, I had a pop-up style gallery just for one night. Yep. I think it went quite well. A few people rocked up. I had a little bit of a photo group for the hot rod. had Sam on the deck, so that was really quite good. Overall, it was probably it was probably not the best time for me to do it, just because of having the print on and stuff like that. But yeah, that's true. I'm still happy I did it because it took it gave me an experience. It gave me uh, where I need to improve on what I should be doing, where I should be doing it, um, and more uh, like how long a period I should have the gallery open instead of one night. Yeah, yeah. So like a really good learning experience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I was there, as you mentioned, a couple of times uh, on the decks doing some, spinning some tunes for you. And um, I mean, the vibe that you had going was, was amazing. Like, it may not have been a huge crowd, but the crowd that was there were like really enthusiastic, really supportive. And it's just really good to see a bunch of people kind of, you know, hanging out, listening to some music, looking at some really cool photography, you know, and some good food too. Um, uh, who were the guys you had down there? I had uh, the Flavor of Wheels. Flavor of Wheels. So yeah. he's the one that rents the uh, the area up. Chicken 65. Chicken 65, he's <laughs> good. So <laughs> they, had, they had the. Uh, so they, they read the uh, venue after after what's great West is finishing for the day. So yeah. they're there they're from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. And yeah, Scott recommended the Chicken 65 to me, and I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. And it was pretty damn incredible, I, I, will, I will admit. I um, couldn't complain at all because it was amazing. Hit the spot. 
Yeah. 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 Y